Under the flight path of the UK's busiest airport, police were called to the roof of these offices. Here they found the body of a man, believed to have injuries that were in keeping with falling from a great height. It's likely he'd been a stowaway that fell to his death. And although rare, this community has been here before. This is the third incident in this area. Uh, two other occasions, uh, it happens in probably two, two years or three years ago in Sheen. It's a terrible tragedy for the people um, losing their lives and being injured. Uh, but it just shows how desperate people are to come to this country and to, to seek a better life for themselves. What's not yet clear is how long the man's body had been here. But what we do know is that an hour before police attended this scene, they were called to Heathrow itself to deal with another stowaway. When they arrived, they found a man had been hiding in the landing gear of a British Airways plane. In a statement, police say the man, believed to be aged 24, was found in the undercarriage of the plane and was taken to hospital. His condition is now described as critical. At Johannesburg Airport, he would have had to have somehow smuggled himself on board the BA flight. Then he faced over an 11-hour journey of more than 8,000 miles before reaching Heathrow. He was discovered just before 8.30 in the morning. If he hadn't died en route, experts believe by the time he landed, he would have been close to death. I mean, the conditions are pretty horrendous. Uh, aircraft on a long-haul flight, specifically from Johannesburg to London Heathrow, will be climbing up to a cruise altitude of about 30, 35,000 feet. The temperatures at that sort of altitude are around minus 56 degrees Celsius. The levels of oxygen are fairly low as well. And it's unlikely that a stowaway would survive for a significant period of time. Police can't say yet if the cases were connected or if this was just a coincidence. But at least one man has paid the price for attempting a terrifyingly dangerous route into Britain. Katie Spencer, Sky News.